maneuver around is the simple fact that you get their arms out of position. Oftentimes, as you're moving, you've got to be aware of whether his arms or her arms are correct or out of position here. Okay? So as we're here, he's framing here. So TJ, look right here. So he's framing. Go ahead, frame one, frame two. Right here, look. Right? I push into the frame and then I roll the hip here. Okay? Now from here, he may move the arm out. You see, there's one to pin around my hand. Here. Okay. Reach here. But I have to be careful because I don't want him to bridge. He bridges. Okay. I want to be able to control here. But he bridges because he's not going to have this leg up. Because if he has this leg up, it doesn't do anything. He has his leg down. So he bridges. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you mount. You wait for your opportunity. Sometimes. As you switch your base here, he's framing here. Okay, here, okay, frame. Look, I'm framing into him now, just so his hand's committed, and then I separate, right, this leg on this scarf. Okay, but I don't want to sit here, because he can frame me here. I'll throw the left leg over. And hook my head. And pull me down. Oh, that sucks, yeah. Okay. I don't want that either, so I don't want to just sit there. Yeah. Frame one. So one, two. Sometimes you can get in here and below here. But now as I start scooting my hips back, okay, I don't have to mount them because I can now get head, arm, triangle here, and flat. that head on triangle here. If he fights it, he starts pulling it out. And we still mount here. Okay. Let's see you got to the mount. In his hands, it's tough to get a key lock here. Here. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, is you go for the neck, his hands come up. Is that here? His hands are pretty good. So let's say his hands are like so. Still hard to push away. So I'm gonna cuff his elbow here, okay? I'm gonna use my elbow here. And I'm gonna pin this right here. Okay? See, I'm pinning his elbow, uh, his wrist on the mat. I'm here, my right hand comes underneath, make a fist here, and now I'm gonna pull my elbow into his shoulder here. And I'm gonna just put my chest on it right here. Mark, can you straighten your left arm? No. Okay, from here, this left hand. Pivot this way as my right crunches. And I pull it up. Like so. I can't do this because he's gonna straighten out his arm. And I don't want him to do that. Okay? So even here. Okay? Super powerful. Not easy to defend. Because if I want to go with my hand, I, I would go on the top arm. If I go here, he brings it back, puts the other arm on top. Here, it's still tough here. Look, cup this here, push it down to my thigh here, and get my elbow here, okay? And I wanna open it by pushing it down right here. One, two, this, okay? I wanna pin my elbow into his shoulder, not his neck, right here. And I'm just gonna lay on it right here. And now from here, I'm gonna twist to the side, to the right, and lift my right elbow towards my wrist. Chest on and all right here. And I can do a twist. Okay. Ideally, if you can, bring this elbow into his shoulder here. And then just pin it flat right here. And now squeeze everything. Okay. 
Are you cutting on the bicep when you do that, or are you just cranking on the shoulder? Maybe a little. Yeah. It's torquing the shoulder, but it's really super tight on everything here. Gotcha. Okay. So you're here. Now, what happens here is that he's got one chance to save himself, which is to bring his right hand under my armpit, under, under, and grab his hand. And now you're able to set up arm raisers. here and I pull it all this way here and just lay on it right here okay it's tough for him to really do much here because even if he puts his hand in my armpit okay I can still torque it this way here and shift my hip here but even here oh, what's you really gonna do here Mark can you do anything or no? nope okay nope and I can flex uh -oh. and lock it up you know, like a slicer right but I want the fist right here fist chest open up the chest so now as it twists to the right it's super powerful okay you just have to pin his wrist with the cell because all i'm doing one more time is i'm just scooping this elbow here and pinning it right here his hand comes underneath here and i'm just gonna lay on it right here okay and now i have a pretty good control of him and i just flex bicep, take your chest, put it in it, and twist to the right. Okay. One more time, Professor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you wanted to do that to somebody? Many as I can see. Go for it, guys. Ladies. <laughs> 